I'm going to show you guys today how to optimize your tablet uh, for OSU for when you like when you just buy your tablet I'm going to show you guys how to pretty much optimize all the settings and everything to make sure that you don't uh, have any settings that are potentially going to hurt you later on so let's start off um, with getting the drivers for your tablet so almost with any tablet you're going to have drivers that you need to install uh, this is either going to come in a disc uh, with the package you bought or it's going to be online. So me personally, um, as you guys can see, I'll add a little webcam here so you guys can see it. But um, hold on. So pretty much every tablet will come with drivers um, unless it's like a really cheap ripoff tablet but as you guys can see here's my webcam and this is my tablet it's a uh, Wacom Intuos tablet so that's that uh, it's a Wacom Intuos so obviously to get the drivers we're gonna go to the Wacom website so we're just gonna Google Wacom and as we can see here it says drivers you're gonna click on that um, and this is you know assuming you have a Wacom tablet um, but I have just the regular Intuos, not the Intuos Pro. Um, I just have the regular Intuos and I have Windows, so I'm just going to press download on that and then run through the setup and it's usually going to require you to reboot your computer in order to process all the changes. So after that, uh, you have the drivers. You're going to get something like this, Wacom Tablet Properties. And when you, whenever you use your tablet and you click on something, it's going to have like a ripple effect and it's going to be really weird. Um, so I have a guide in the description below. I have a link to it that you guys can click on and head over to the website where you guys can download the program that I'm about to show you. So the program that I have is, uh, it's in the debug and right here is, uh, it's the fix my pen tool. And again, I will have this in the description below, but it is the fix my pen tool. And pretty much what it does is you download it, run it, and then you get this. And uh, as you guys can see, almost everything except for this for some reason is uh, good. And when you guys first get your tablet, everything here is going to be bad. And you've got, you're going to want to go make everything good. Um, well, obviously, if it, if it gives you the error that it just gave me, run it as an administrator. I forgot to say that. Uh, if it gives you errors or it's not turning to good, then run it as an administrator and then go make everything good. And then as you guys can see, that's fixed. Um, and then refresh the status just to be sure. And there we go. Everything's good. So uh, the flicks and everything will be turned off for you. There is a manual way, manual way to do this. Uh, it's on the website, but this is just the easy way to do it. So if I made everything bad right now, and I, I don't know if it's going to show, but I, I just made everything bad and pretty much it's, it disables all this stuff right here is what it does um, is the on-screen controls and it does it gives you like you know all the ripples and stuff like that but obviously we don't want that so we're just gonna go like that and you guys can tuck it away in a folder or just delete it completely it doesn't really matter um, but then we're gonna open up our Wacom tablet properties so Obviously, uh, if you have a different brand of tablet, you'll have different software for it. Uh, I have a desktop center here, and you guys, this launches every time I turn on my computer. But uh, I just run through it and make sure there's no new updates. You guys can also back up your settings to the cloud in case you uh, lose your settings. You guys can just, you know, restore your settings back onto the computer. But uh, yeah, make sure this is on uh, right-handed. If you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, then set it to left hand. So that's one of the things you want to do, go into your tablet properties, and then right here is where everything gets real, alright? So up in the applications, you want to make sure you have OSU running, it doesn't have to be running, you just want to go to the plus icon, and if it's running, you guys can select it from here, if it's not running, go browse and then find OSU. And you're just going to want to click on OSU and tinker with stuff in here. So um... All of this stuff, the stuff, this is like the buttons on top of my tablet. Again, you guys may not even have buttons for your tablet, but I would recommend uh, just disabling all of these. Uh, at least that's what I do. And the reason I disable them is because I don't want to press it accidentally while I'm playing, even though that's near impossible to do. But I do have no use for these. I could bind these to maybe like uh, escape for pause and like retry and stuff like that. But honestly, it's not worth the effort. Um, moving over to pen, this right here, 
doesn't really affect anything unless you drag. Uh, if you drag, then you guys can play around with this, but if you guys hover, this shouldn't really matter to you at all. Uh, if you have buttons on your pen, I have these disabled because I don't want to randomly click something while I'm in the middle, well, I'm in the middle uh, of a song. Um, even though I do have mouse buttons disabled, but I don't know. I just don't like them, so I disabled them. Um, and yeah. Alright, mapping. This is, uh, this is what a lot of people get, you know, confused about and what a lot of people look around for. And that is tablet area. So, tablet area, again, as you may, most of you may know, is completely preference, okay? It doesn't matter what anybody says, it's like, completely preference. Um, but there are a couple things you want to note. And that is you don't want to have your tablet area too small and you also don't want to have your tablet area too big uh you don't want to have it too big because you're gonna have that's gonna be really hard on your wrist and you're gonna have to uh, pretty much swing your entire arm around your tablet in order to cover uh the play area so you don't want it too big and you also don't want it too small the reason you don't want it too small is because if it's too small you'll have a lot of speed but you won't have a lot of accuracy um and it's just not it's just not good if you're play area is smaller than one inch by one inch. Uh, I would say one inch by one inch is like the bare minimum smallest that you want to have. Any smaller than that is just not going to do you well. Um, but I have a check to pen mode obviously. You don't want to have it on mouse mode for obvious reasons. Um, and then screen area, if you have one monitor you just select full. Um, if you have two monitors you select the monitor that you want it to map to. Uh, and then force proportions is pretty much if your monitor is 16 by 10 and your tablet 16 by 9 then it'll pretty much map it so that they're both the same aspect ratio. Um, I would just recommend having this enabled um, because it just helps out with uh, with muscle memory. Uh, tablet area, I, I have it all full. Again, this is what I just talked about. It's all preference. You guys can go in here and change it to whatever you like. Uh, I have it on full because I play on a lower resolution. Uh, I don't play on native, so I have it uh, just on full. Use Windows Ink, you want to have this unchecked. Uh, this is, will give you a lot of input lag. I'm actually not sure what this does. If anybody does know what this does, uh, leave a comment below. But um, what I've learned is just have this disabled because it does uh, produce input lag. So I just recommend this off. Uh, headedness, again, choose. And then side switch mode, I don't really think this matters at all. But uh, yeah, on-screen controls, none of this matters because you already did the uh, fix my pen. You already used the fix my pen tool, so none of this should matter to you. You don't have to touch anything in here. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. That's how to set up your tablet. Uh, let me go over the in-game settings. I almost forgot that, actually. But uh, the in-game settings are also quite important. So let's head over. Um, so all of this is just... Useless, useless, useless. Uh, until you get down here. So raw input. If you want more accurate movement and you want, uh, you just want more accurate movement from your tablet, then I check raw input if I were you. So I don't know. I have it checked. Um, some people don't have it checked. It doesn't really matter to be honest. It's preference. Uh, but I would say raw input is something nice to have. Um. This you can check if it's like, if your tablet's derping out, then you can check this, but I don't have this checked because honestly it doesn't, uh, doesn't help me with my tablet. But if your tablet's derping out, then try checking that and see if it helps. Um, there's really nothing else though. That's pretty much it. I mean, that's, that's all the settings you really need for your tablet, um, to configure. So that's how to get started with your tablet. Uh, if this video did help you guys out, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I will try to the best of my ability to answer them. But I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace.